buddy, Lawman Mike with www.lawmanguitars.com. Why was I playing a song from 1964? Because I've got a 1964 reissue. This is a 2014 new old stock Fender Jazz Bass in Daphne Blue. Now you're saying 2014 new old stock? That's right, this guitar had never been sold in the shop. I just took it out of the shop this week, and I'll tell you what, it's absolutely fantastic. Uh, had hardly been played at all. Matter of fact, uh, I left the plastic right here on the pick guard. You will be the first to take the plastic off and reveal it to the world. Uh, it is perfect. I mean, there is nothing, nothing wrong with this bass whatsoever. I was trying to see if there was any dings at all or anything, and I couldn't find anything on it. You know, you'd think in the shop it might have picked up something, but it, apparently not. And it's just absolutely beautiful. I mean, what they did is they built a 1964 jazz bass. Uh, I mean, it's just nuts how the, the care they put into it. I'll show you the case here in just a minute, and you'll see what I'm talking about. But they used a flash coat nitro finish on it, so uh, it's actually a nitro finish. Uh, they used rosewood for the neck. Uh, it's got American vintage pickups. It's got threaded steel barrel uh, saddles. Uh, it's got uh, rosewood. It's got alder on the body. It's a 34 inch scale. Uh, and I'll tell you what, in the Daphne blue with the, uh, the same color headstock, I mean, it's like, whoa, is that a cool guitar? When I saw it, it was like, yes, I'll take it. No problem. I, I know I have at least 10 customers that's going to want that. So uh, we picked it up and uh, it's absolutely in gorgeous, gorgeous shape. Now the, uh, the nice thing about this is uh, for those guys that have always wanted a, a 1964 bass and uh, didn't have the uh, you know eight to ten thousand dollars for one, uh, this would be a great one for you to get. It feels just like, and I've I've played 64 uh, jazz basses and I'm a jazz bass guy. I just uh, uh, P basses get too big for my little hands, uh, but jazz basses always feel good to me. <laughs> You know, the other thing that they pointed out to me, um, I don't know that these are clay dots, but they sure look like clay dots. Uh, and you know, uh, they stopped using clay dots after 64. Uh, so it, when you look at it, you go, holy smokes, are those clay dots? Uh, they look like they might, they might be some kind of wood, but I'm, I'm just not sure what they are. But they sure look like clay dots. And uh, for those of you that know old fenders, uh, that's always a key for uh, how old your guitar is. So. Uh, the uh, serial number does not help you date this guitar. So uh, what I did is I did take the neck off to check it out and it is a 2014. I was able to determine that uh, from the dates uh, and I have some pictures of that uh, on the website to, to show you that. But uh, it's just, what a cool bass. I've been playing on, uh, on the middle pickup here. Go to the back one. Let's blend them together. playing through a, 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 a Fender Deluxe uh, transistor uh, amp, not tubes, and <laughs> it doesn't sound too bad. If I had a regular bass amp, it would sound outstanding, but I just want to point out to all you bass guys, if it still sounds good, it had nothing to do with the amp. <laughs> it has everything to do with this guitar. Uh, it's a full 34-inch scale. Again, it's got the matching headstock, Daphne Blue, and uh, it's just outstanding. Brand new. I mean, it just, you know, I took it off the wall, said I'll take it. I'm offering it to my customers. You'll be able to register it with, uh, with Fender as the original owner. And uh, it's just absolutely out, outstanding. Now, the thing that uh, 
when I got the base, I said, well, let's see the case. And he kind of grinned at me because he knows I'm a case guy anyway. And when he pulled it out, it's like, oh, now I know why he's grinning. He pulled this case out. I go, oh, you got to be kidding me. That's the case? He says, yeah. Uh, this is uh, a reissue of the 1964 White Fender case. And, you know, it's when he brought it out, it was like, oh, my goodness. I mean, that thing is perfect. Uh, and it's brand new. I mean, it, uh, it's got a little shop mark right here, which will probably come out with a little scrubbing, but uh, it's a brand new case, a brand new Fender case. It's highly uh, deluxe. Everything is, is just as it would have been back in 1964. It's got the Fender badge on it. It's got the nice leather handle. Uh, it's just absolutely beautiful. You open it up and it's got the, uh, the bright orange uh, uh, interior. It's a G&G &G case uh, made in the USA. And uh, it's just, I mean, when you lay that Daphne blue inside that orange, you just go, holy cow. I mean, that is just outstanding. Then we got to the fun stuff. Uh, he pulled out of the, the accessory box this. Never been opened. Uh, this has um, your cord. It's got the mute uh, uh, felt for your, for your uh, 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 bridge. It's got uh, some new stainless steel flat wound strings. If you want to put some flat wounds on it, it's got... Um, all sorts of owner, regist owner registration materials in here. I mean, it's got stuff, I don't even know what's in it. But whatever came with the guitar as new is in this little plastic bag that I swore I was not going to open. I'm gonna let the new owner open this, okay? So that is going to be your Christmas present when you get this guitar and say, I get to open that and see what's in there. Well, that was pretty cool. But then he had this manila envelope in there. What's it say on it? It says Fender 60s Instrument Information Kit. I mean, it looks like it came from 1964. So I said, well, that's pretty cool. So then he opens it up and I go, holy smokes, look at this. Here's an instruction manual that they reprinted from 1964. I mean, look at this thing. I mean, it's just, it's crazy cool. Uh, it's all the stuff about, how, about your bass, how to set it up, how to tune it, how to play it. I mean, I mean, it's, it's, look at this, it's got Napa La Mer and Lowell Miller with Al Hurt <laughs> inside, I mean, I know those guys, I know most of you don't, I'm old enough to know them, but I mean, this is a reprint from 1964, I mean, it was wild that Fender put that in there. What else did they put in here that was really cool? Well, let's see, we've got our lifetime warranty hang tag. We've got another hang tag that says, thank you for purchasing an authentic guitar. Here's your authentic J-Bass Fender with the uh, build uh, uh, signatures on it. That comes with it. What else have we got in here? Oh, look at here. Yeah, this is really cool. Look at this. This was what came in 1964. It's, it's just like the postcards that they had. It's got white Fender basement amps and showmans and all these cool guitars from 1964 and inside um, yeah you can put your model name and serial number and the price you paid for it. I mean this is the stuff they gave you in 1964. I mean I was 64. I was uh, 12 years old. Holy smokes. No. Yeah I was 12 years old. Incredible. Wow. That's taking me way back. Here's uh, some more hang tag stuff. Here's uh, thanks for buying your vintage instrument. Uh, here's your uh, more hang tag stuff. And uh, that's it. It also comes with the Fender Manila envelope. So you know what? Uh, let's see, is there anything else in here? Did I forget anything? Oh yeah, I did. Look at here. Here's the Fender strap. That's in there. Uh, here's some more mute materials. Here's uh, some more stuff. It's uh, okay, we have the dust polish cloth. Never been opened. Keep it like this. When you go to sell this base, all this stuff is very, very valuable. Keep it like this. Don't use it to clean your guitar. Use an old t-shirt, okay? Here's your case keys. That's in there. So, I mean, the case candy in this base uh, guitar alone has got to be worth hundreds of dollars. Um, but you get all of it with this incredible 1964 reissue new old stock 2014 Fender Jazz Bass in Daphne Blue with the matching headstock. Whoa, what a mouthful and what a guitar. Check this thing out at www.lawmanguitars.com and all of our other cool guitars and basses. I really appreciate you watching my videos. Thanks a lot.